go of me. The, no, we're going to the car. Come on. Please let go of me. No. Please let no. go of me. On August 9th, 2023, in Ohio, police were dispatched to a check cashing store in reference to a woman using a fake ID to try to cash a $28,000 check. Hello, miss. You being helped with them right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Do you mind? You have paperwork for him? Yeah. Ma'am, do you have your ID on you? Um, no, um, that's the only one I'm getting in. Um, uh, I know one. I'm waiting for the BMV to send me like a hard plastic copy. Okay. Yeah. You mind if I see that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just taking a look at this real fast. Okay. Is this your current address on here? Yes. Quebec? Yes, Quebec, yes. Okay. Is there an uh, possibly, we're going to take a look here. Okay. Yeah. And what is the issue? Uh, we just want to make sure that this is a proper document. Okay. That's yeah. fine. You got this from the DMV? Yes. Okay. All right. Give me just a moment, okay? Okay. I mean, I've got, you know, everything, everything is, you know, legit. I got it from, well, this I got from where I work. I don't currently work there anymore. Um, I quit after this. And then I got that from the DMV. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Give me just a second here, okay? Okay. And he can even call and verify it. I'm pretty sure there's a number somewhere. And then I have this. This is so awesome. This one here. Is that in there? This just has your address. Gotcha. Two oh five copy of DL. Robert Zebra one zero four three four seven. Ten four. Thank you. All right. All right. Go ahead and turn off the transponder. Oh, can I? Nope. I have to call. I have, nope. I have to call. Right now, you're gonna put your transponder. Okay. Can I put this put in this, my pocket, please? Put it on the counter. Okay. Put it down. Okay. Put it on the counter. Okay. Okay. I'm down. Down. Okay. 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 Okay
I don't have nothing in my pockets. Stop. Okay, can you please let go of me? I'm not gonna go nowhere. No, There's three of y'all, and I'm with one person. Please do not touch my ass. I'm just back okay, of my that's hand fine, here. but I don't feel comfortable with you doing that. I'm just doing it for officer safety here. It's the oh back of my God. hand. Oh my God. Stop Can you reading. Please no. let go we're of me. The, no, we're going to the car. Come on. Please let go of me. No. Please let no. go of me. You're hurting me, bro. Hey, walk. Okay, I, I am. Can you please let go? No. You are hurting me. Okay. You are hurting me. Ow. You're hurting me because the cuffs are putting on my wrist. You're hurting me. We're not next to comfort. Okay, but they don't have to be this tight. I'm one little ass person. There's three of you. It's just ridiculous. Please let go of me. No. Please let go of me. Please let go. You're hurting me. Go ahead and take a seat. You're hurting me. Seat. I don't care. You're hurting me. Buckle you in so you don't get hurt. I don't fuck I'm gonna get hurt. I'm gonna back on the foot of the core. Because it's state law to have you buckled in. Can you at least lose the data? Go ahead and turn the car on, turn the camera on. No, they're properly spaced. No, they're not. They're tight. I'm telling you. They're, they're not. They hurt. They are tight. How are you going to tell me? They're on me. They're not on you. Can you find a real idea? Yeah, I get it. You want to go ahead and read her her rights and let her know what's going on, see if she wants to answer any questions? Oh, yeah. Give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Miranda here. Let me get, make sure I got it right. Well, Here's who she actually is. Gotcha. Did they say if the check was bad or just the idea? I'm sure just they uh, just checked the ID. She's got somebody else's social up here. I'll let you go through all this. Okay. Thank First you. First and foremost, and then. Okay. Yeah, let me just gather my thoughts for a second. Yeah. So this was in here, and then. She has a forged government document. Okay. In someone else's name. Gotcha. She's got other people. There's another. In there. Okay. Can I make a phone call, please? Yeah, when we get to jail. I'm not going to be there long. Let me set this on the seat for a second. Sure. I'm, an, I'm allowed a bond. I need to call for my kids. All right. We can take care of that later, okay? Okay, how? What's So later? you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Okay, I have one question. Am I allowed a bond? You have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford one. Am I allowed a bond, though? This we'll what we'll get all this stuff figured out. Um, do you have any questions right now? Just, I need to make a, a couple phone calls. We'll get that figured out later, okay? okay? What's later? I have to get a hold of my kids so they know what's going on. We have to get to jail and process it first. Yeah, you'll get a call later. What's later, though, is what I'm asking. I'm going to be worried. I have to call my fiance. Okay. All right. Do you want to answer any questions about what's going on here today? No, I don't. No? Okay. All right. I'd rather be quiet because you guys are known to twist the word. But, yeah, she said somebody was able to... Um, I do have one question. When am I going to be able to get my belongings? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I want you to start getting fraud alerts on the Excuse me. Hello. Hello. When am I going to be able to get my belongings? Excuse me. Hello. When am I going to be able to get my belongings? That's the only question I have. Man, we're going to get that figured out, okay? Why can't you tell me anything? We're going to get you booked in. When I, why can't you tell me anything? Call, and then we'll figure out about your belongings, okay? Will I be able, if I get bonded, will I be able to receive them back? My ID and my phone and my purse. We'll get that figured out. I'm not sure all the details yet. We're looking through here and just 
Trying why to figure it out, okay? Can't you tell me? You're the one that has my belongings. Three socials, two videos. The socials that are in there belong to me and my children. And you can look that up and you'll see that that's proof. Those socials are my children's and mine. Well, not even mine. Mine isn't in there, but my, my children's. I have three children, and I can tell you their names and their birthdays. Those are theirs. They're all my children. So everything in that wallet is mine, and it's nothing else. And like I said, you can look it up, and you can see for yourself. Everything in my purse and my wallet belongs to me, and they're all legit. Like I said, you can look them up, and you can check. And the two IDs in there are both mine. They both have my ID, my names on them, and my address. One is a passport photo, and the other one is a regular BMV one. I went to the, the Walgreens on Clark yesterday and got that done. The passport ID. And you can also look into that and see that that's the truth. Uh, anything else on there? Uh, not that I'm seeing that has any relevance. Like I said, the only other man, everything is. Mine and legit, other than that. Let him get out of here. So, what? Those ones are mine. Those ones are legit. Okay, we still have to them. pound them anyway until you can prove that they are yours, okay? You can call the the, the, f be the, the social security okay. office. We I have can to tell you the them. names on those. I have three children. So, why are they being taken? Like it's I said, all going to go with your property. It's all going to be impounded. Impounded? What does that mean? It means it's going into our property. Okay, That's will I be able to get it back? Because I can't replace them. Yeah, we have a property clerk. You get yourself back once we're done. As long as you're able to prove that they're yours, then yes, you will get them back. You can call the, the, okay. a the Social Security office yeah. on the 73rd. A detective will do that. Everything in that, especially the two IDs, are mine in the earth. Okay. And All you right. can check up with Walgreens on Clark. I went and got the passport ID yesterday. Okay. Well, right now we're you're under arrest for identity with that. Okay. I'm trying to take care of my kids. Hey, thanks. Well, she's also in possession of a driver's license that has info on it, too. So it's identity theft at the very least. At the very least, yeah. How many IDs does she have with different names on it in her picture? This is the same. Those are both the same? Yeah, this is the same driver's. So just the one? And then she's claiming these three social cards uh, are her children's. Yeah, piece of paper. Which all have the same last name, I believe, as her. Correct? Fuller? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which that might all check out, so a paper ID for identity theft right now. Alright, we'll see about this check. Alright. Thank you, guys. Thank you. How much time can I get for this? So what what they said? They said they said the check. They said it's a good check. <laughs> okay, it's just under that other lady. Yeah, name. it's under someone else's name. Okay, but it's a valid check. All right. Hello. How much time can I get for this? That I don't know. That's up to a judge. Upon being apprehended and charged with theft, forgery, and identity fraud, the woman underwent questioning by detectives while in police custody. During the interrogation. She claimed that a man she met on Facebook had supplied her with the check, promising her $2,000 to cash it. If you were the judge in this scenario and she were to be convicted, what sentence would you deem appropriate? Feel free to share your comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.